Hey, it's Johnny Grubaugh, mantraining.com. <clears throat> Today, you know, I've talked about, I've talked to people about, you know, when you train, <clears throat> you should do different things. I don't usually train on a schedule. Uh, sometimes the night before I decide what I'm going to do. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just go, you know, off the cuff. <clears throat> I like that because life happens like that. You never know what's going to happen. <clears throat> so, Today, I carry my 50-pound kettlebell with me, and I decided I'm going to do a 1,000 <clears throat> reps today, 1,000, you know, two-handed kettlebell swings. And it got me thinking real quick, and the reason it's on a scale is because I forgot not too long ago, a, a dude who for some reason follows me um, told me <clears throat> that the kettlebell I'm using is no more than 30 pounds because he uses a rogue 53-pounder. So I just happened to have it, and I decided I'll put it on a scale. And this was after, you know, after I got done, because I have no idea. I bought it at Walmart. It says 50 fucking pounds. I just assume it's 50 pounds. So <clears throat> I put it on a certified scale, as you can see, the red tag in the fucking back. And it's 51.65 fucking pounds, okay? Now, I also did 1,000. So, and there's my numbers, um, how I broke it down. So I did 1,010. So I did it because <clears throat> I just wanted to do it throughout the day and uh, it took me like, I don't know, I did it in like five hours, five and a half hours, something like that. And I figured I don't usually take a lunch and I figure if I do 50 and each 50 time, each 50 takes me only about a minute and a half, minute and 15. Total time throughout the day is 23 minutes, not even 30 minute lunch break. So that's what I did. I did it here and there. I did what I could. I started out at 50, then I went to, what was it, 60, then I went to 75, and then I just started doing different fucking things, 100, 80, yeah. So, when the guy said that I was only using a 30-pounder, I also was doing, I also had the 25-pound backpack on. It's funny, he calls out the 50-pound kettlebell as a 30-pounder, but never says nothing about the 25-pound backpack I tell me I, I tell him I have on my I, I tell people I have on my back. Now, if I was gonna lie about something, wouldn't I lie about the fucking backpack? The weight in the backpack? I could have said it was a fucking hundred pounds in the backpack. He wouldn't have fucking known. But he wants to call me out in a 50-pound fucking dumb uh a 50-pound kettlebell. You know, that's the one thing about people out there with no integrity, they lie, they lie, and all they're doing is lying to themselves. Okay, I got no benefit to tell people that I'm fucking using a 50-pound kettlebell and I'm actually using a 30-pound kettlebell. I don't have any fucking, no horse in the race if I say I'm, I'm fucking trap bar deadlifting uh, 185 pounds for 50 fucking reps when you can see the fucking weight on there. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the weakness and the insecurity of fucking weak men that do those things. So anyhow, I just showed that it's a 51.65. I did a thousand of them today. Um, not a great fucking amount, but it's, it's a good amount. It's the most I've ever done because I don't usually, um, do a lot of kettlebell swings. Uh, last Wednesday I did 700, same kind throughout the day. Today I did a thousand, thousand and ten actually. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do, man, to stay in shape later.